What's up, everybody? It's Conger Live. We're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. Today's video, we're going to be going over all the news surrounding season 10, which has just begun. And yeah, I'll let you go through the uh, season pass with me. And uh, I would like for you to leave your comments and thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content. Ninja, kick that like button and let's get into it. Okay, starting off, we're on the official Discord in the Channel 6 news. Uh, at the top here, it says, Coming soon, Earth Invasion. This was a couple days ago that the next event, which starts on the 20th for Hero Bit event, is for a five-star Zorax, if you can claim first place. Like always, you got to be at Adventure 13-1 to participate. Um, so that's that real quick there. Then we have Season 10 starts today. Uh, season 10 uh, has just begun. Uh, the season pass rewards were updated to give a higher number of hero bits and hero drives. <clears throat> Not exactly true. Um, the premium side of the pass now has a five-star hero drive instead of a four-star hero. Uh, yes, uh, it never had a four-star hero. It had a four-star hero drive. Um, so once again, liars. <clears throat> and we, but the five-star drive is, is new and that is nice. Uh, one could argue. We have uh, added heroes to the hero drives and made balancing changes to Super Irma. For details, visit. We have that pulled up. We're going to go take a look at that shortly. And the Trial of Courage, Trial of Wisdom, Brawls, and Clan Siege are coming soon. These events will soon be in regular rotation, giving you something more to do in the game each week. So it looks like they're going to do a Trial of Courage one week, Trial of Wisdom another week, Brawl another week, and then Clan Siege the other week, so that there's always something happening. And we'll take a look at the events uh, to see what's coming up with that, looks like there's some discussion thread uh, started maybe because of damn in exquisite. Um, I have not read that. There's only um, uh, two messages in there. We're not going to take a look at that right now, just in case there's nothing, uh, there's something not so great about it. So they have the version 1.46 uh, update. This was a uh, forced download in order to access season 10. Uh, minor bug fixes, tool clip to clash leaderboard, player profiles. And a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to look at some of the updates in the game here shortly. And uh, 2x offer wall promotion is coming, but who really cares about that? If it's not a 3 or a 4x like they've done before, uh, kind of pointless. But that also starts today. So if you want to try and get some extra gems, um, check your offer walls in the free gem section. So um, let's take a look at the um, Season 10 update news. So on their Player Help Center Zendesk, uh, Log in to start leveling up, refresh season pass, and earn rewards. Refreshed, yes, refreshed. Grab the premium pass to get best, the best rewards, like a five-star Donatello drive. Yes, the top reward for the premium pass is a five-star Donatello drive, and we'll take a look at that. The season pass rewards were updated to give a higher number of hero bits. Not a whole lot more, and depending on how you look at it. And hero drives. Don't think there are really any more drives if we do the math. And the premium side of the pass now has a five-star hero drive instead of a four-star hero. Once again, there was never a four-star hero. There was only four-star hero drives. And they've added heroes to the hero drives and made balancing to Super Irma, so we're gonna take a look at that. Um, was this article helpful? No, it was not. Um, so here's the information uh, with the Super Irma update changes. So they've added Dirk Savage to three-star drives, Hunter Casey to three-star drives, Alpha One to three-star drives, Rock and Raft to four-star drives, Fugitoid to four-star drives, and Mutant Man to four-star drives. This is really interesting because they gave us a three-star Fugitoid, but now um, he's only available in the four-star drives, where they gave us a four-star Dirk Savage drive, and now he's in three-star drives. This is also the first time they've added a previously new season hero character directly into drives the following season, which is Alpha 1, uh, before you always had to wait an extra season. Um, so it, it's, it's good to see that, and I'm happy to see Rock and Raph finally added to drives, because I only have a three-star Rock and Raph, and I would really like to get him higher. Uh, now, the balance changes for Irma, all they did was take her equipment skill, her super tiara, and cut the focus bonus in half. She still gets the defense, which is great. Um, is this enough? to really balance Super Irma, just cutting down, cutting in half the focus bonus from her Super Tiara. 
I, I, don't, I don't know if, if this is enough. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Okay, let's go into the game and check out that pass. Okay, before we take a look at the pass, there's a couple cool things that have um, been updated like in the clan hall when it comes to, um, where is it? Oh, you can't, I don't think I can search for a clan unless I leave the clan. Um, so I'm not in, in charge, but you can change the minimum power of requirement for the clan. So that's nice. We asked for that like season one or two and uh, yeah, season 10, they finally give us something like that. Um, so that is really nice. Um, if we go over to heroes and we say get more heroes, uh, this I think is one of the coolest things they've done is they now have that you can open up to a hundred drives at a time, which is pretty sweet. So you can see I have 270 uh, two star drives. This is gonna make sniping pretty insane in those hero bit events. Uh, you can really open a lot in a very short amount of time where before you had to spend half an hour or an hour leading up to the last moments if you had a huge stockpile. And now it's gonna be very, very quick to, to snipe the points at the end. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see what happens with the Zorax event. Um, and then we go over to the events and we see season 10 pass. Okay, so uh, with the season 10 pass, um, they say they added more bits. Um, I personally usually have done the math to compare. I didn't do the math this time, but there was someone who shared the pass information. Uh, thank you in exquisite to Darth Grogu for going through this. Um, he only went through the premium pass. Uh, he didn't talk about the differences in the free pass. Um, but there are slightly a little bit more premium gems, not much, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the three-star bits are now 1,200, and the four-star bits are now 355. It's not a whole lot more. And then the five-star bits are 70, which I'm not sure if that even changed at all. So um, at, at the beginning, it basically looks the same as it did before. We have our titles at 10. So the free side gets Rogue Turtle. Pretty sure that title already exists and Chill Dude for the premium side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that title also already exists because if I go to my titles, you can see I already have Chill Dude. Why would I pay for a premium pass for something that I already have, right? Not to say I'm gonna buy a pass for a title, but I already have that. If you haven't been playing since the beginning of the game, then I can understand why you might be excited about that, but let's see, titles don't do anything, right? <laughs> they originally wanted to give us like different colors with titles and that was a, they made an error with that and so those are just, they are what they are. Um, we go back to the, the season pass, right? So that's the first bad move from them. No new titles, dumb. Okay, uh, then at 20, this is where we get our two star Casey Jones drive for the free play, that's whatever. You know, um, normally there would be the three-star hero here. Well, instead they've given us more bits. Well, if you get a three-star hero, and granted the new hero is not going to be a duplicate, but if, let's say they gave us a new uh, hero that we would get a duplicate of, that would be 25 purple bits. Instead, they're just giving us five. So I don't really feel like this is a good change so far. Um, moving along, it's pretty much the same as it's always been. Not really any huge differences as we scroll through. Now here at 40, we would have the first three star drive from the season pass hero. We get a three star April drive for the pay to play. If you're new to the game, that might be nice to make sure that you can get your April to three star, make her very highly usable early in the game. Otherwise to people who've been playing for a while, that's whatever, it's nominal, doesn't really help people who have a four or five star April out much. Then here we have at 50, there's the extra five star bits instead of the, would it be a four star drive? But we have this avatar, the Raphael avatar. Excuse me? You get the four turtles when you start the game. This is not a reward. This is literally a placeholder. Please tell me you have something else planned to go in here. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We go back up here and we take a look at our avatar options. Literally the first avatars you get to start with 
uh, the four turtles, Splinter, April, and Casey, if I'm not mistaken. Like, what, WTF? That is not a reward. Not happy about that. There's you know plenty of things to gripe about with this pass. So they say it's new and updated and refreshed, but that that's not fresh. You're just recycling old content, and that's not even new content. We we have this avatar just by opening the game, starting a new account. This is not a prize. That's that's ridiculous. It's laughable. This pass is laughable. Um, I've been an advocate of buying the passes in the past. Um, obviously, the bonus uh, ooze and scrap production in your lair is still probably the best value and then the, the gems that you get for the money if you're spending money yes that value is still there but this other stuff okay a four star shredder dive yeah shredder's a good character but once again whatever whatever <laughs> not that big a deal we get a leonardo drive in the free side only three star then when you get down to 100 this is where the premium pass gets what? We get another avatar that already exists? No new avatar? We start with the Donatello avatar. Give me a freaking break. And then a Raphael drop, drive. Raphael's still practically broken. He should be a much stronger hero than he is. So super disappointing. And then finally at 110, here's the new five-star Donatello drive. Great. We still need to spend a thousand bits to open it. And Donatella is a solid tune, don't get me wrong, but is he really what you want to spend your first thousand bits on? Maybe, maybe, if it's your first five-star tune, it's a solid option. Uh, but overall, this, pl this pass is laughable. The avatars, ridiculous. The fact that <laughs> we, we don't get the, uh, just, it's not that much more bits. It's not. It, and, and this drive is... Uh, okay, I'm done ranting. What do you guys think about the season pass? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the nerf to Irma in the comments down below. Um, what do you think about the changes with new heroes, opening, getting heroes? I think that this is probably the best thing they've done for us right here. And then of course the clan stuff, that's nice too. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for today. Ninja, kick that like button, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video.